Hey guys, I am Nilima once again welcome to our channel about technology. Today in this video we will discuss about the difference between IP version 4 and IP version 6. I have already made separate videos on IP version 4 and IP version 6. You can watch those videos from the link given in the description below. So let's get started. The entire course of discussion is structured as below, which includes IPv4 address, IPv6 address, IPv4 and IPv6 address formats, and a comparison chart. IP version 4 address. Just as you use addresses to identify specific locations of homes and businesses so that the mail can reach them efficiently. Similarly, you use IP addresses to identify the location of specific devices on a network so that data can be sent correctly to those locations. To facilitate the routing packets over a network, the TCP IP protocol suit uses a 32-bit logical address known as IP version 4 address. This address must be unique for each device in the internet network. The IP version 4 address is 32 bit in length and is binary in nature. But it is expressed in format that can be easily understood by the human brain. Basically the 32 bits are broken into 4 sections of 8 bits each known as octets or bytes. Each octet is then converted into decimal numbers between 0 to 255. And each octet is separated from the following one by dots as you can see in the example. The IP version 4 can produce 4 billion unique addresses. The internet has changed significantly, leaving IP version 4 with several shortcomings because of sudden increase in users in late 1970s. Currently we have a population of 7.6 billion people and a person can have more than one devices connected to the internet. There are several number of government and private organizations relying on internet. IP version 4 address provides 4 billion addresses that are not enough for each device on planet connected to the internet. Although some new techniques were invented such as variable length subnet mask, classless interdomain routing, network address translation, port address translation to conserve the bandwidth and IP address and to slow down the rate of depletion of IP addresses. In these techniques the public IPs are translated into private IP so that the users having public IP can also use internet. But still the IP version 4 wasn't that efficient enough and which gave the rise to development of next generation IP. IPv6 address is the next generation of IP addresses and it is a powerful enhancement to IP version 4. An IPv6 address is a 128 bit binary value which can be displayed as 32 hexadecimal digits. The hexadecimal digits A, B, C, D, E, F are not case sensitive. Each 16-bit hexadecimal field in the series of entries are separated by colon. It provides 2 raised to 128 IP addresses. That is 340 undecillion IP addresses. The crucial difference between IP version 4 and IP version 6 is the ad address space provided by them. The IP addresses generated by IP version 6 is 2 raised to 96 times more than IP version 4. Several features in IP version 6 offer functional improvements what IP developers learned from using IP version 4 suggested changes to better suit current and probable network demands. IP version 6 provides large address space. It offers simple header as compared to IP version 4 header. It provides mobility and security. It provides transition strategies to migrate from IP version 4 to IP version 6. The first strategy is called as dual stacking, which allows a device to have both IP version 4 and IP version 6 protocol stack running, so it is capable of continuing with its existing communication and simultaneously run near IPv6 communications as they are implemented. The next strategy is the 6 to 4 tunneling approach where the user have an all IPv6 network that must communicate over an IPv4 network to reach another IPv6 network. And the last strategy includes network address translation protocol translation. 
between IPv6 and IPv4. This translation allows direct communication between hosts which use different versions of IP protocol. Here the given diagram shows the IPv4 and IPv6 address formats. Where IPv4 ad address is a 32-bit address having 4 octets each of 8-bit in size and can have any number from the range of 0 to 255 and each block is separated by dots. On the other hand, the IP version 6 address is 128-bit address having 16 octets and 8 fields. Each field is 16-bit in size and separated by colon. The IPv6 address is represented by 32 hexadecimal digits. With this we have come to the final part of this session. Now I will show you the difference between IPv4 and IPv6 with the help of the comparison chart. IPv4 supports manual and DHCP configuration. On the other hand IPv6 supports manual DHCP auto configuration and renumbering. The end-to-end -end connection integrity cannot be achieved in IPv4 while it is achievable in case of IPv6. The IPv4 address generates 4 billion addresses whereas IPv6 produces quite large number of IP addresses that are 340 undecillion IP addresses. In IPv4 the security is dependent on application which can be optional. Conversely IPv6 provides inbuilt security. The address length in IPv4 is 32 bits. In contrast IPv6 address length is 128 bits. In IPv4 the addresses are represented in decimal form whereas IPv6 addresses are represented in the form of hexadecimal numbers. IPv4 performs fragmentation at the sending and forwarding routers while in IPv6 it is only performed by sender. No mechanism is provided in IPv4 to identify packet flow. On the contrary IPv6 provides mechanism for packet flow identification. The checksum field is available in IPv4 as against it is not available in IPv6. IPv4 uses broadcasting while IPv6 uses multicasting and anycasting. Multicasts enables efficient network operations and prevent most of the problems that are related to broadcast storms in IPv4. IPv4 doesn't provide encryption and authentication. On the other hand IPv6 provides encryption and authentication. Okay guys, this is all for today. If you want to study the topic in detail, you can visit our official website that is techdifferences.com. Here you can find the detailed comparison between IPv4 and IPv6 along with their definition and packet formats. We have also provided the links in the description below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like, review and share the video. If you have any query comment us in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel to never miss a video from our channel.